We're here with uh, John DeLong of the Winston-Salem Journal. John, you've been covering NC State all season. Kind of the same story today against Miami. What happened? Same story. The uh, the offense was terrible. J.J. Hickson outscores the rest of the team. They shot poorly all year, but they, they never found any offensive rhythm, and that's, that's been one of the problems. This is a dysfunctional team, you know, and, and, and nothing surprised me today by what they did, and yet it's shocking to think that this team could fall apart like this, lose their last nine. They went into the season legitimately picked third, you know, and I don't think anyone was reaching by making that pick. They lost Farnold again, yes, but they'd already lost to New Orleans and at East Carolina before that. So, so things were out of whack early on with this team. They never got it together, and frankly, I'm interested to see what happens during the summer to see who comes back, who doesn't, and how Sydney, Sydney Lowe regroups this team. Because the future, I mean, obviously they lose Gavin and, uh, you know, they may lose some other guys. I mean, just talk about the future and, and the recruits they got coming in and everything. Well, the, the question is, does J.J. Hickson come back or not? Uh, he talked after the game about he'll weigh his options and everything. Uh, you got to believe he's, he's seriously considering going to the NBA. I don't think he's ready to go to the NBA. I don't think he's ready to play in the NBA. But you got to look at it like, am I better off going pro, playing in the MBDL, or going to Europe than, than going through this crap, you know? And uh, so, and I think what other guys do on the team will play off of that if Hickson comes back or not. They're going to have some attrition. I'm convinced they're going to have somebody leaving. And now, uh, sum up Sydney and the way he, you know, operated this team. I know there was some some disgruntled guys early in the season, and that did that really carry yeah. over? You think? I think it carried over all year long. Okay. I, I think that's why there was there was dysfunction. He made the commitment to the freshman. He had four upperclassmen starters coming back, and. You know, I don't know if they ever felt that they were the leaders. And today in the post-game press conference, he talked about why he benched Gavin Grant basically the entire second half and what the problems were, and he laid it on lack of leadership, you know, like that. But there was a disconnect. I don't know what sparked it. I don't know why. But once it happened, it was a sad thing to watch. One more thing, J.D., uh, long offseason for the Wolfpack faithful, I guess, when you don't make any any postseason. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they can't buy their way into a tournament now. They're 14. They're, they're, they've got a losing record, you know. So uh, I'm just shocked by it. I'm just totally shocked by it. And yet what we saw today, I think we were prepared for. All right.